What's up everybody, it's Alex from everything for iPod and today I'm showing you just kind of a quick tip. Some of you may know this already so don't yell at me if you do, but I feel like most Mac users don't know this tip and more Mac users that are pretty familiar with the system don't know this than do. You can actually change the icon for any document, folder, hard drive, flash drive, pretty much anything that uses an icon really easily. So I use a website called iconarchive.com. I'll put this link in the description. There's some other websites you can go to to get some cool icons or just do a quick Google image search. But I like this because they're high quality, everyone's good. Um, but basically you can just go find some icons you like. So just find an icon you like and then when you find one, so like if I like this and I want to change my Safari icon, I'd find Safari in here and then download the ICO. So I downloaded a little icon that's kind of a hard drive, looks like this, and I want to make this my default hard drive image, or for my hard drive. So it's really simple, all you have to do is double click it to open it in preview like I have here, and then command A to select all. So that's going to give you these little marching ants, or you can just go to, I believe it is uh, select all right here, edit select all, once you have that, Go to Edit, Copy, or Command C, and that will copy the uh, the icon to your clipboard. And now here's my hard drive, so I'm going to highlight it and hold Command I on my keyboard. That will give us more information. So to do that, if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut, it would just be File, Get Info, and you will get this little window here. So if you click the icon up in the upper left-hand corner, it will have a blue outline. And then all you have to do is hold Command and press B. And you may have to type in your password depending on what icon you're changing. And there you can see that it changed my hard drive logo, or the icon. So that just gives some more customization. It's really easy to do. You can see that. You can do the same thing with a folder, an application, a document, a flash drive, really anything. It's a pretty good tip that I believe not a lot of people no, you, pro you might know it if you've been using Mac for a really long time, but that's just a pretty cool tip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that I haven't had videos up in the past week or so. I'm coming down with a cold if you can hear this in the video, but I'm getting over that, so expect some more videos in the future. Um, that's it. Don't forget to watch some of my other videos. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let's go Flyers, and I will see you later.